Israel critics who use the false apartheid claim often cite black Africans who hold or held similar views. They say things like, well, Bishop Desmond Tutu said that Israel's treatment of the Palestinians is apartheid. It is true that the late Bishop Tutu said these things. It is also true that South Africa's ruling party, the African National Congress, has in recent years adopted an increasingly antagonistic stance towards the Jewish state. But South Africans are not a monolith. From faith leaders to politicians, business personnel to community leaders, many have called out and do call out this lie. In his address at the 37th Congress of the South African Jewish Board of Deputies, Nelson Mandela said, we, referencing the African National Congress, recognize the legitimacy of Palestinian nationalism just as we recognize the legitimacy of Zionism as Jewish nationalism. We insist on the right of the State of Israel to exist within secure borders, but with equal vigor support the Palestinian right to self-determination. King Goodwill Zuelatini, the late king of South Africa's largest tribe and ethnic group, the Zulus, retired Chief Justice of South Africa's Constitutional Court, Chief Justice Mokhweng Mokhweng, South African parliamentary member and leader of one of the opposition parties in South Africa's government, Reverend Dr. Kenneth Mishwe, Bishop Dr. Barnabas Lekhanyana, leader of the Zionist Christian Church, the largest African-initiated church in Southern Africa, are names that you may not have heard before. But these are names of South African leaders who do not equate support for the Palestinian people as having to be anti-Israel. They are leaders who publicly debunk the labeling of apartheid against Israel, who see the importance of a strong South African relationship for the benefit of all South Africans and all Africans.